Hello there, I'm Jimmy Vegas and this is the ultimate Unity tutorial for beginners and welcome to episode 34. In this tutorial we are going to focus on a couple of different things. So we're going to focus on both of the NPCs that we have because we're going to add some voice acting in, some terrible voice acting. And we are also going to stop ourselves being able to repeat the quest over and over with this NPC. Don't forget, click on the subscribe button and click that bell icon as well to stay up to date with every tutorial still to come in this massive series and indeed everything else about game development on my channel. And if you've enjoyed this series so far, please feel free to check me out on Patreon or YouTube memberships where you learn things like early access, exclusive content, project files and so much more. With that in mind, let's get to work. So up until this point with NPC002, we are easily able to activate that specific uh, routine that we go through to be able to choose what we want to do. What happens if we repeat it? Well, we just get the same conversation over and over and over. So there are a couple of different things that we can do. And what I'm actually going to do is stop ourselves being able to talk to the NPC until we've completed the quest that they want us to do. Uh, if you want to have some additional dialogue, then that is entirely up to you. The process is still going to be the same. So let's go to the NPC choice script, which is for the, this NPC that we wrote. And uh, I will mention about the voice acting that we're going to bring in. It is, it's not good, but <laughs> the, the whole idea of it is we're able to add in some voice for our characters. So all the voice acting is, is just me talking and it's just kind of distorted one way or the other to sound a little bit different than me. So anyway, Back to this script that is taking a while to open up because Visual Studio tends to do that because who knows why. So the idea of what we're going to do is we're going to put an extra uh, mechanism in here to detect when we have spoken to the NPC. And obviously we've dealt with things like bools before so we know how these work. That bool is going to act as the ultimate trigger to say Yes, we have already spoken to this NPC, so we don't need to carry on. So really, it just comes down to um, an extra couple of lines of code in script. So there we go. It's just loading up now, taking longer than I would like, as always. As always. I'm sure those of you out there know and feel my pain with Visual Studio. Okay, so here we go. So let's go to the top and let's add in... Uh, a bool. Um, we're going to make it false by default, obviously because we haven't triggered this conversation yet. So public bool and we'll just call it taken quest equals false semicolon. So down here we have this section here which basically says uh, play the idle animation, speak this line of code here, uh, blah, 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 blah. Um, I don't actually remember that doing that one because I, I've recorded these lines, but I haven't actually recorded this particular line of code. Um, so what we're going to say is, in fact, before we go any further, let me quickly check what the, um, the actual NPC says because I recorded a couple of lines um, of audio for subtitles. I may have missed that first one out, but that's not to worry. We can always add it in the next tutorial. I just want to check if that was the first line of code which comes out. Um, so, yes. So, that is the line of code. So that one has been missed out, but that's not to worry at all. So, there are a couple of different things that you can do here. You can either have your NPC say absolutely nothing at all and just ignore the fact you're trying to talk to them, in which case you would say, if the distance less than three, here you would put if, and in brackets, taken quest equals, uh, no, false it'll be, won't it? So false, then we do all of this, close curly bracket, and then down here where we've got start select convo, first thing we'll do, is add in the taken quest equals true semicolon and save. So now let's try this bit out. 
So there's a couple of different things we'll have to worry about as well because I guess it depends on whether we press the yes button or not. So we may have to make that one static. Emily, patrol the village. Can you go and get this? Yes, we will. See you when you return. So if we try talking to our NPC again, we can't. So the quest has been blocked. Alternatively, if you want to be able to just play this section again, all you would do is take this if statement and basically you could, um, gosh, well, to be honest, I think this may be the quickest and best way of doing it at the moment, but all you would do is have your taken quest and say that, set that inside the coroutine there. So this bit would come down here. So you'd have all these lines of code and then you'd play this and then you would start the no option. So I think realistically what we should probably do is take taken quest out of there and let's place it inside yes. So start yes, because then obviously we have taken the quest. So it'd probably be wise to place it in there rather than the start select convo. So what I'm thinking we should probably do, <clears throat> excuse me, is, so we'll leave that like that and we'll see how this comes out for us now when we add in some uh, voice acting. But obviously feel free to change things around, do whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to keep it like this for now. And once we've completed this quest and come back to our NPC, obviously we'll have a different set of uh, words to say. So obviously she won't say hello anymore. She'll say thank you very much or whatever. So for now, that stops ourselves re-triggering the conversation over and over and over. So next thing to do, let's take a look at bringing in some voice acting. I have a couple of lines of code here. Uh, I say code, it's recordings, isn't it? Uh, I'm going to bring these into my audio folder and let's create a new folder and call this voice. And I'm just going to bring these in. I, I will put these on my website for you to go over and download if you want to. <clears throat> they aren't exactly great, I'll be honest. They're a little bit lame, I think. <laughs> That's probably the best way of doing it. So I always like to contain things neatly within the uh, controller. In this case, it's the first person controller. So I'm going to go to the first person controller and we have the sounds. Uh, we have effects, ambience, and in there, I'm going to add in voice. <clears throat> oh, my throat's going again. Apologies. And in here, let's create empty and we'll have NPC 0, uh, zero 01. Duplicate and NPC002. So there's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So two lines of code for NPC2 and three lines, as I keep saying code, three lines of voice for NPC1. So within NPC1, let's right click, create empty, line 01, and let's bring that line over into there. And let's untick play on awake because we don't want it to play as soon as the uh, game starts. Add the next one in, so line two, and then add line two over there. Finally, line three. And let's bring line three over to there. And then let's do the same with NPC two. So create empty, that'll be line zero one. And then drag and drop onto there and let's untick play on awake. And once again, hold control, press D and bring the line over there. And that is line two. So Avast, you don't need to restart my computer. I literally restarted you yesterday. It keeps moaning. Okay, so we got a little bit distracted there. So we have those lines of code. God, I keep saying code. Stop it, Jimmy. <clears throat> Stop it. We have those lines of voice in ready for ourselves. So let's go to the ultimate beginner script here. You see it down the bottom, ultimate. Sorry, I've, I've lost my mind today. So we need to add in some uh, variables here. And we're gonna do this uh, by going public uh, audio source and uh, let's have this with the square brackets because we're going to do an array. And let's call it voice line semicolon. 
So, voice line zero, because element zero is going to be the first one, it's going to be the first line uh, that we play. Uh, obviously, I didn't record this one, but we'll add in next tutorial, I promise you that. So, we need to add in here uh, voice line and in square brackets zero dot play. Oh, close bracket, semicolon. Copy that and head down to here. Thank you. I'll see you when you return and change that to number one and save. And I cannot remember if we have done arrays before. I cannot actually remember. So either way, uh, if we haven't, I'll quickly recap now. Square brackets there means we're setting up an array. And if we go back to our uh, Unity and head to our NPC, we can attach those lines whenever it decides to, oh, sorry, here. I gotta say until it compiles, but it's already compiled. A little arrow next to voice line. Let's set the size to two because we have two lines. And now let's click this little lock icon at the top because we want to lock the inspector panel to what this is now to allow us to drag and drop the lines of uh, voice over here. So click that and then drag line one and drag line two. And obviously this array could go on for many, 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 many different ones. You could have this as 20, 200, I guess, if you wanted to. Um, so we just need two for now. So on that same premise, we need to do the exact same to our NPC one, which is the cat warrior. So if we go and uncouple this up here, so click the lock again, switch ourselves to the cat warrior, and let's go to conversation. And we need to go to NPC chat. And we need to do the same thing here. So it's going to be public um, audio source, uh, square brackets again, open and close. And we'll call this one voice line once again, semicolon. Now, we have three lines of code here, I believe. So we've got uh, this one, this one, this one. So we do the same once again voice line and in square brackets zero because that's the first one we're going to bring over dot play open close bracket semicolon and then we can copy that line of code down to here and we'll have that as one and this one as two so that will play the uh, voice clip every time that we uh, activate some text so let's head back into unity same again, let's click the little lock icon as soon as Unity has compiled. There we go, or other script has compiled. Click on voice line, let's change it to three because we have three voice lines. And then we drag line one, a line a two, and line three. And I'm gonna save that. So using arrays is quite handy because you can control how many you have and you don't have to continually type out multiple variables so you don't have to have like voice line one voice line two voice line three voice line four voice line five you can just contain it all inside an array which is very very handy so let's press play and let's check out my awful voice acting so obviously that one isn't done can you go to the next village and collect some wood please that's all right so far thank you i will see you when you return perfect Okay, so let's quickly try out um, NPC 1, which is the Cat Warrior. Uh, let's bring our FPS controller all the way back to where it should be when it starts. Well, roughly where it should be. Um, I have got myself stuck in a tree there. What? Wow, what, what a place to actually place myself. Let's try that again, shall we? So you can have as many uh, lines as you want with this. There's no set amounts you could do whatever like, this is gonna sound crazy police come back when you have a weapon <laughs> terrible voice acting so that line works so let's get our weapon and just make sure the next line works then we should be all right Rax is in the tree if you remember and let's try this out I see you have your axe. Oh, really? I have a small favor to ask you. Please okay. can you eliminate the skeleton threat just outside this village? Okay, so one thing I noticed there, we drastically need to extend how long this is actually on for. 
So this reset chat, uh, so we only have two and a half seconds and it goes off. So I'm going to increase that to three and a half, I guess. Um, you can take a lot more time and refine this a little bit more. But the whole idea of the voice acting is working. That's what we're aiming for here. So next tutorial, what we are going to do is I'm going to oddly record myself in a silly voice again for the other line that we missed out. Uh, we're going to add in that fetch quest. We're going to design more. And hopefully, if we've got time, we are going to basically wrap all of that up, wrap the whole fetch quest up. So as our second NPC says something else, and then we can move on to some more awesome stuff. So, guys, until that next tutorial, thank you very much for watching.